The mighty Yukon is a beautiful place, but during winter, well, the way they open this part of the country up is completely unique. Yeah, there's a lot of snow, a lot of ice. You probably have right, noticed that around <laughs> here. So the way they got around was by dog sled. Mm. Are you game? Yeah, that's an experience you can have for yourself, and that's what we're going to do Come right on. now. <laughs> We're learning the art of mushing out at the Sky High Wilderness Ranch, one of the Yukon's most well-respected adventure tourism teams. And our teacher, Jocelyn, has been sharing the secrets of the sport with would-be mushers for years. Now, Jocelyn, these dogs are so fit. Yeah, well, they're sled dogs, they're athletes. Um, they're like marathon runners. They love to pull, they love to run, they love to cover distance, they love to get out there. And, especially and if they're not yeah. part of it, they get upset? Yeah, they get sad because they didn't get kicked, you know? This is a sport here, isn't it? It is a sport, you know? You're, a lot of people think you're just coming on the sled and you're just going to hang on the sled. But no, you're going up hills, you're helping the dogs, working as a team. Yeah. With the right dog selected and a quick lesson from Jocelyn, it's time to get out onto Fish Lake to skim across the icy surface. Being able to run at speeds of up to 30 kilometres an hour and travel up to 130 kilometres per day, you know you're in for the ride of your life. Every dog has its day and its own role to play in the team. From the lead dogs who set the pace to the wheel dogs located right in front of the sled who are renowned for being the power, strength and steadiness of the pack. Sledding your way into the Canadian wilderness in the heart of winter is a real highlight and the perfect way to kick off a day of fun-filled adventures. Go on. Go. Trevor and I are taking on the half-day sled tour, but there are many other options to choose from, including mushing by the hour, all the way to a 14-day wilderness dog sled adventure. Well, that was awesome. Those guys, I think, have definitely earned themselves some lunch. We're a bit peckish as well. We're going to go back up to the huts, and then from dog sledding, we are going to show you some serious horsepower here in the snow. Come, Trev. Come on. A hearty home-cooked lunch is the perfect way to recharge the batteries and thaw out while our next adventure awaits. OK, Mr Cochran, we are swapping dog power oh, for yeah. horse power. This is great. It's pretty good. Are you ready for it? Oh, yeah. All right, you have that one? All right. Oh, the red one, it's going to go faster. Do you need a lesson? Not at all. Let's just do this. <laughs> I do. You try yourself. <laughs> I'm having a lesson. Dave Myers from Up North Adventures is our guide for the afternoon. We've got to switch here, turn them on high or low. <gasps> no. The middle is off. It's got hand warmers. Yeah. And after a quick intro into how easy it is to drive these machines, it's off again into the Yukon wilderness. Cruising along the snow is a real buzz and a completely different way to experience the Yukon. These snowmobiles can go anywhere, on snow, ice, through the willows, you name it. And as the light of the day fades, you can still keep pushing forwards. So, Dave, you know, this is an amazing experience. The landscape is incredible during the winter time. Is this a full day experience, half day? How does it work? We can do a half day, we can do a full day, we can do a bunch of full days put together and explore all sorts of different areas. So, in this area in particular, we've got this gorgeous creek that we can come in behind and check out even through the middle of winter. Yeah. This won't fully freeze, so it'll still continue to wow. flow, and we'll just get really cool ice formations along the bank and shifting down all through the creek. For more details on how you can be mushing or snowmobiling in the Yukon, visit our website.